Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. All right, you're gonna have to bear with me with the noise in this video, right? Because the kettle's on, uh, the, 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 the washing machine is on, um, but I'm filming this video now and I'm not waiting because I am freaking hungry. It is 2.49 in the PM and I have not eaten anything yet again. Today we're gonna to be talking supplements, guys. What's up, guys? Liam here, welcome back to LSJ TV. We are picking up today's video where we left off. The last one, which, well, it was right over there. So technically, we're kind of just, it's like 30 seconds later and I just kind of picked up the camera. Um, I'm making my oats, I'm making my daily oats. You guys know the recipe. Start off, 60 grams. Oh God, oh God. Anyone else just like not eat and then just get completely uncoordinated? Doesn't help if you've got a concussion. Anyway, 30 seconds in the microwave. 30 seconds out, 30 seconds in, 30 seconds out, until it is your desired consistency. Add in your protein. I haven't told you how much water, top it up to 400 mil. This is a shambles, I need to chill. Drop this video a like. Comment down below, subscribe if you're new. It's gonna be an entertaining one, can you tell? <sighs> okay. Chill. Let's get into it. Okay. Oh, perfect. Perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this. Okay, this is what we are dealing with so far. Looks a little thick, right? Fear not because once we add this, the cereal milk flavor will actually make it a little bit runny again. Different flavors have like different consistencies and gonna have different kind of reaction to when you actually put it in the oats, it's gonna react kind of differently or based on which flavor it is. So like the salted caramel doesn't make it as runny as a cereal milk. It's, it's kind of weird, but you're just gonna have to take my, my word for it. Literally could not have picked a worse time to make this part of the video because the washing machine is about to go absolutely skits. But, like I say, it's like 3 p.m. and I've not eaten, so I'm not waiting. I'm just, I'm just not. Um, before we get cracking uh, a little bit more into today's video, I'm gonna put two scoops of that in there. Around about 60 grams, there or thereabouts. Before we get cracking, let me know your favorite my protein supplement in the comment section down below and why. And if you're lucky, I might just pick one of you to receive said item. You guys know the drill. You stir and flip. You stir and flip. You stir and flip. When it looks a little something like that, that's when you go for it. I would also usually wash it down with some orange juice. We haven't got any orange juice today. Uh, we've got orange and mango. Not feeling that though. So we're going for the pineapple today. Uh, I'm gonna pour out a glass, 250 mils worth of that. And eat this whilst I proof watch the previous video. A lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to do. Okay, and then. We'll talk supplements. Mm. 30 seconds later, I told you. It's going nuts. Anyway, let's come away from that. So supplements, ladies and gentlemen. Are they something that you need? No. Are there something that can help you? Hell yeah. If you say no, you're silly because they can, right? They supplement your diet, but that is another key word, supplement. You should focus on the word supplement because they should not be your diet. They should not be every single gram of protein, you know, should not come from a protein shake. Always, always try, an emphasis on try because I realize how difficult it is, especially if you have a, a nine to five or anything like it's just hard right it's just hard to get enough protein just from food from from chicken and, and beef and whatever you wind up having if you're if you're vegan and stuff you know it makes it even harder um so should you rely on them no but can they help you hell yeah so i'm not a dietitian i'm not a doctor i'm nothing like that but this is kind of my experience and what i am currently using right and why so you've just seen me use the protein, right? I put that, that's just regular impact whey protein from my protein LSJ at checkout. The reason I use that on such a frequent basis is because I have oats basically every day, right? Um, not, every, well, not every day, most days, like the, the past kind of three, I'd say three years, I've had oats, protein oats, right? Um, I've kind of mastered my recipe, you know, I've got it just how I love to do it and, and it's perfect every single time, right? 
that is combined with the protein. I wouldn't have the oats just on their own. They're protein oats, right? It's protein oats or a different breakfast, essentially. So the reason I have it on such a frequent basis is because I have that breakfast on such a frequent basis. I can get a good 50 odd grams of protein in, depending on how much I put in. Um, and it's nice and it's just nice. I enjoy it, I like it. You have a good taste in protein in your oats and you're golden, you know? But having said that, if that was not an option, I would probably go for something egg-based, maybe some egg, like an egg white omelette or something like that. Not even that fussed about egg whites but I'm just saying get protein in from a different source breakfast if you're gonna have breakfast if you're not an intermittent faster or whatever um, then definitely mind you it is like 3 p.m. anyway what I'm trying to make is if you haven't got the option to, to kind of have the oats every single day have the the knowledge if you like to still have a relatively high protein breakfast without the supplements this is what I'm trying to get across to you because essentially I, I do have that but that's because I love it and I also work for my protein so it kind of works both ways you know but if that's not you and you don't want to do that, get some eggs, get something like that, or I don't know, some, some salmon or some beef. Like people have steak for breakfast, steak and eggs, you know, like sausage. I, I don't know, anything with sausage is quite high. Anyway, rumbling. You get the point. So that's where I'm kind of at with um, with with protein, in, in particular impact whey protein from my protein. But there's other things that you can have, of course. And my favorite, not only favorite option, but favorite product on the whole market is clear whey isolate from my protein. Okay, these are all tubs of clear whey. I've got a tub, uh, I've got a cupboard full in the other room as well. These are all clear whey. Okay, this is the product that I absolutely swear by. This is the product that if I could only have one thing from the entire fitness industry, left, right, center, whatever company, whatever type of product, whether it's pre workout, whether it's vitamins, whether it's anything like that. That is the one thing that I would have on a daily basis, and that is the one product that I would choose. I would choose it over pre-workout, that's how much I love it. Right now, anyway, I mean, I kind of go through phases where I'm just like, yeah, I need my pre, but you get what I mean. Now, I think the reason I love it so much is because it is just, it's just a juice, essentially. You know, you've seen, I like my juices. I love pineapple juice, I love orange juice, I love just squash and stuff like that in general, right? Um, it reminds me of when I was a kid, you know, playing outside and come in and your mum's poured you some squash and all this kind of stuff. <laughs> Stupid, I know, but a way to get your protein in without having that kind of thick, creamy taste is the clear way isolate, and that's why I go to that on such a regular basis. But that doesn't mean I discount the impact whey protein. You see what I'm trying to say? That's my washing done. Hello, whitewash, all my fresh smelling socks. Okay, come on then. Yep, that'll do. Just to clarify, I do actually do my washing properly. Like, I'm gonna do it in a minute, it's fine. <laughs> the next things you have are vitamins, vitamins, however you wanna put them. Uh, these can be very, very valuable to, uh, to many people. Regular folk like you and I, elite athletes, you know, like my mate Eddie Hall, all that kind of stuff. We've got glucosamine, a uh, fish oil, we've got zinc and magnesium, a uh, D3 in there. Uh, we've also got some vitamin C. This is the vitamin C plus from my protein. Essentially that just means, well these are all from my protein. Essentially that just means um, it's a higher dosage, slightly higher dosage than the regular one. Um, I don't know the difference between the two, I'm not going to lie to you, but they are two separate products, so just kind of watch out for that. There's also like Omega 3 plus, Omega 365, loads of different kind of variables of essentially the same thing so go with what your budget allows and go with what you kind of think is best or maybe you can actually consult someone who can advise you as to what to go for uh, depending upon efficiencies and all that kind of stuff like i say i am not uh i'm not that guy to be to be saying you should be taking so and so milligrams of or micrograms or grams of of this or that you know i'm uh, i'm not going to do that i don't know you um i don't know your body uh, and chances are neither do you, so you're just kind of guessing unless you uh, unless you have the, the qualifications. But what I do take is in that pill box right there, just rewind if you wanna see all the things that I have. Um, I'm definitely gonna start upping my glucosamine because uh, that is another thing that I started to do um, a while back, which helped with my, my joints and stuff. Uh, I take fish oils and my glucosamine for my joints. Glucosamine is essentially something that's gonna help your um, joints like absorb shock, right? So, let's say you're jumping up and down. Hold on. Let's say you're jumping up and down like this, right? Your knees have got like fluid in that you can't really see, but if you're jumping up and down, this fluid is there to make sure that your knee doesn't go basically. What taking glucosamine does is essentially help that fluid kind of be better 
at doing its job, right? It helps your, your joints absorb better. In a nutshell, that is kind of why I, um, I started taking it and why it might potentially be um, of use to some of you guys. How much use? I don't know. Like I say, you don't want to be relying on all this stuff, but if you can take, if you have the budget for these kinds of things, they're not going to do you any harm unless you start taking crazy amounts, you know? But it's not PDs, like they're vitamins, you know, it's vitamin C and a multivitamin gummy and stuff like that, you know? We're not talking crazy stuff like test or anything. <laughs> we're talking, you know, we're talking a little, hold on, talking a little bit of protein and some multivitamin gummies, you know? It's, uh, it's, it's no... It's no biggie, it's not revolutionary. However, it can help you. All these little things add up, you know, when it comes to recovery, when it comes to performance, all this kind of stuff. Just something to bear in mind. But they are all supplements. Aim for food, if you can, all right? So that, in a nutshell, is what I am taking. Oh, my knees. Here's some more glucose in me. Did you hear that crack? Cause that was my knee, funnily enough. Oh, the smell of these. These are elite crisps, by the way, plenty. If you're struggling to get protein in from, from your meals or from like supplements, you know, McCoy's has a whopping 1.7 grams of protein per pack. So that's nuts. That, ladies and gentlemen, it's basically what I'm taking. Kind of. Sort of. Not really. I take lots of stuff. There's pre-workout, there's my protein snacks, there's tons of stuff that, to be honest, this video would be 20, 25 minutes long if I went through each individual thing. Um, and that's just not enjoyable. Hopefully you found this somewhat enjoyable. You kind of get to know me and what I'm doing on a, on a daily kind of basis. This is what I consume on a daily. Um, my protein snacks and pre-workout, that's a whole different story. Maybe I can do another video on that. Let me know if you want to see that in the comment section down below. That'd be quite cool. Um, but if you don't, also don't, and I won't make it because if you don't want to see it, then I won't make it because there's no point. But remember what I want to be seeing from you guys in the comment section of today's video is your favorite supplement and why. Do you take the clear way isolate on a daily like me? Do you take vitamins on a daily? Do you take the multivitamin? Do you take glucosamine? But hey, that is it. It's come to the end of the day now. It's time for me to get showered up. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, let me know by leaving a like. Leave a comment down below, your favorite part. One thing I used to do was the timings. My fa personal favorite moment of the video and the timing of it would be like 10 minutes, 24 seconds or like personal favorite moment, three minutes, 24 or whatever. He used to do that, kind of faded away. I just forgot about it. But anyway, like, comment, share, subscribe. Together we will grow. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.